Hello everyone, good morning. It, this place that you see here is becoming my favorite place to think about. Uh, it is so inspiring to be here in the morning. It is so calm. You have on the one side the, this calmness over here from coming from the jungle. It's waking up. And on the other side behind you, I will just rotate a little bit. You have the ocean and a beautiful sky. So it is really an outstanding place. Um, I'm not a much of a person thinking about such things like energy, but here I have really the feeling that this energy from the river is going into the ocean and how these energies are clashing together. And I want to think actually that this is what is inspiring me uh, when I'm places uh, in places like this I can really understand how Leonardo da Vinci could be so inspired about water and the way water is flowing because it is so outstanding just to be here and experience how waves the lines that waves are having and the lines of, of the river which are completely different are clashing together and what is forming in between perhaps when I'm still doing this live streams we will be one day in uh, the Tuscany near Piombino it's actually the place where we know from the notebooks that uh, Leonardo da Vinci was very fascinated about the water and really uh, there in Tuscany there is something similar like here that's uh, two different artistic expressions you can call this I know this sounds crazy perhaps a little bit are clashing together and developing something on their own and this in this moment of clashing together the transformation that is going on in the lines in the structure and in the colors are revealing a part of a mystery uh, about water and it's something that is so uh, fascinating and here in Thailand to have the time to experience uh, such things is really uh, outstanding and I'm enjoying this time here and know what a, a privilege this is so I'm not just uh, studying uh, nature for artistic purposes but I'm really right now working very hard to provide you more value uh, it is giving me a lot of satisfaction and purpose right now to do my best to help artists out there with what I have learned so far in the two decades that I am working in the artistic uh, world. It may be that not all, uh, um, all of the ideas are for you, but they can give you hints and I can point in a direction perhaps and uh, this would be uh, great for many artists already. I, I wish someone did that when I was uh, trying to get into the next level because when you are dedicated to your art and you are uh, saying to yourself okay now it's time to get to a different level you need some advice and you need company because really uh, art and the art world can be a jungle and this is actually what we will talk about uh, also today how to get out of this jungle with the help of a fellowship and um, for myself it was really important to develop this fellowship during the times when I was studying art and uh, after I achieved my diploma in classical painting and graphic and I, what I don't know what I have all uh, finished um, it was important to be surrounded by people that were really encouraging you and that were helping you to get forward they have been in the same situation or in a better situation and they form a kind of group, a fellowship that was making the traveling much more better. It was making not uh, often, very often not much easier because they are still humans, they are perhaps in the same situation and you are confronted but you are not confronted alone uh, anymore uh, alone. There is someone out there who, is, uh, who cares about you. 
and this is also why I'm I, I know I'm very bad at this live streams perhaps but nevertheless for some people they will have the feeling that there's someone out there who cares and uh, it helped me a lot to know just this that I can get in contact with people that are that care so I'm trying to do uh, the same and with time I'm I, I will get better at this right now you can just listen to my voice and perhaps liking their nature in, in Thailand so um, to achieve your goals to uh, get to the next level in, in your art to uh, start to produce better art that perhaps one day will develop to a um, heritage and when you have the time uh, have the feeling that right now to get to the next level is really a hard process and you know that as an artist you have so many so many days in which you can uh, devote yourself to, to your artistic venture the more important it becomes in such t times of change where you perhaps fear also the change to have something that you are falling back uh, on it because in this it's a great opportunity because you are not only receiving so much help that I have been talking about but also you are giving a lot and by giving you have the time to rethink your own process your own progress right now talking to you and thinking out loud is not only producing hopefully uh, a lot of uh, value for you or even some spark or some thoughts that you can follow but also for me just by helping others you are um, rethinking and redefining your own values and your own process and this is enorm helpful so one of the best opportunities of building a fellowship is not only the receiving side but also the giving side by giving away you have to always package your gifts and this packaging process the quality control before you are giving something away will have an enormous impact on the development of your art even if you are not um, thinking with with your fellows about the future of your art nevertheless if, if even it's about painting or drawing when you have to formulate what you are doing right now in your art then uh, you are becoming better at this because to formulate uh, um, something for someone or give an insight you have to change your own perspective into um, something that is a little bit more disconnected from you and in this way you are getting a better overview and all the great artists had always a fellowship uh, a fellowship of artists or other people that were involved in the process of developing a better artistic future developing a better art uh, developing themselves as, as humans to provide better cultural values one of the most tragic stories this is not classical art but more modern art would be uh, Van Gogh Van Gogh without the fellowship of his brother would most likely not survive so you see that this fellowship is not only about success and really getting becoming an outstanding artist but it can be sometimes about survival as a uh, as an artist even when um, Van Gogh's brother Theo was not an artist on himself he was an art dealer just being there for uh, for Van Gogh and encouraging him helping him with money saved uh, Van Gogh's process and progress without uh, Theo there wouldn't be uh, this outstanding artworks that we can see in the museum and when you are also looking in the um, classical art the paintings that we see and the artists that we see in the Louvre there's also always a, a fellowship behind this because we humans on our own uh, can do only so much and together we are always stronger uh, this topic today is actually something that is a little bit hypocritic because right now I am in a stage of my progress where I don't have such a strong fellowship like I used to have.
during my times when I was studying or during my times in Paris, London and so on, I had also a, uh, always a strong fellowship and right now in, I'm in a phase where I'm defining everything for myself and redefining also my fellowship. Uh, I'm using different medias to reach out to different people and in this way with time a different fellowship will develop and this fellowship will uh, help me to achieve um, more outstanding goals. So all, uh, often a process of change or the fear of change can be overcome by rethinking this fellowship. Um, once you have uh, acknowledge that you as an artist can do only so much. I know this is a great myth that artists like me are going to these uh, foreign countries and they are sitting down and uh, doing all these incredible things, producing art, writing books and so on. Yes, this is true. Right now I am doing this. Uh, yeah, right now I am. I have a purpose. Uh, with a purpose, I isolate myself so I have can focus on what I'm doing. But this is only a phase. Out of this phase must come a fellowship uh, with time, a, a fellowship that is making what I am producing right now so much stronger. So it this myth about uh, the lonely artist, this lonely genius, it is just about a face. It is something that the artists are later on using for their own mythology and how outstanding they are. But nevertheless, it is just happening in a small context. Otherwise, there is an, uh, a fellowship necessary. So when you think about the fellowship you have right now, or the fellowship you uh, you will develop it is best to start what is important to you what is actually helping you to get forward some artists oh i have a fly here some artists uh, are needing different things to go ahead some uh, artists are needing this fellowship more in their sector of their career some artists are needing this fellowship in the surrounding personal surrounding so encouragement friendship and so on um, it is best to start what you are already having by thinking about the fellowship because when you uh, think about of your art and your artistic pro uh, progress as a thing on its own this thing on its own your art needs a kind of home or a kind of belonging and right now you can already uh, tell which kind of belo belonging which kind of home which kind of connection or of support is already working for you so right now you can do art better because you are not absolutely isolated with your art so think about this what is already the home the fellowship right now for for you for your art when you say I, I don't have any fellowship I'm a lonely wolf on my own ask yourself is it so nevertheless your art is better because you have an art supplier so if you want it or not even if you are on your own nevertheless you have a fellowship of uh, I don't know uh, the shop where you get your own artistic supplies in exchange for money or is it you're becoming the things of Amazon or buying it over internet nevertheless there is a group out, out there that is supporting you this connection with this group that is supporting your art is a little bit loose it it has no personal connection it is someone that is just selling stuff to you but nevertheless this stuff is an important factor of your artistic development so there's always a connection of, um, of, of support already. So when you have the time, sit down and write what is making, which fellowship already is making my uh, art possible. Big parts of your network will be more a fellowship, a fellowship in the meaning that is something that is really supporting your art. And when you're getting more precise in terms of a fellowship instead of a network, you will become, you will have an idea what a fellowship to develop them, uh, then. What do I have to look for 
to develop in time a, a better fellowship that is uh, supporting even more my artistic uh, development. So starting what, what you have, focusing and defining what is working for me, what would define a fellowship for me can be uh, the, first, um, the first step. And it can be something that is purely professional, but nevertheless, it has also an element that is more about your personality, about your character, about the things that you are needing as, as a human being, uh, parts of your family or a, a friend or a um, life partner can be also an important part of your fellowship to get out of this uh, jungle uh, of the artistic world and to develop your art to the next level. So these two parts, the professional fellowship and the, art uh, and the uh, personal uh, fellowship should be clear and in time get combined because the best outcomes artists had achieved in art history was always to combine the things. Uh, there's a connection perhaps to, to a gallerist that is not only just selling the artist's uh, art but also is investing in, in this person or helping this person in, uh, in, in a personal way. Um, to stay more with the uh, successful but dramatic artists. Let's think about Pollock. Pollock with his problems as, as a person with alcohol and so on. Without the galleries that he had in New York, we wouldn't know much about Pollock right now. So he found a fellowship, a bound with someone that is actually providing a structure to reach out to the next level and this can really be a game changer just by thinking about in terms of, of, of a fellowship. Because once you have, even if you have invested the four years that I'm asking for in, in, in this program, because the program which I'm developing right now is about giving yourself the four years to develop the next level of your art. You can actually go to the website www.future.louvre.academy and they will see the uh, progress of, of this uh, project. Perhaps I have even defined what I'm telling you right now even better uh, already, so it is a uh, much better help. Um, nevertheless, thinking about your fellowship, developing this fellowship and bringing in a personal uh, side of it is, is giving you the structure really to reach out to your next level uh, uh, of, of art because in this way you are also becoming clearer what art should provide for you in terms of surrounding that uh, a more tighter surrounding around you the home of your art that will really make your art sustainable when you are in the artistic world and you have the opportunity to make an art career hype and you are coming into an absolute new surrounding, in this surrounding you don't have a home and your art is not having a home, the problem is it is much more harder to stay in such a surrounding that is just loose and you are not rooted in anything. There is no fellowship, no home and it is making it so much harder to stay connected in, in, in such an environment. So by developing a, a follow, um, fellowship for the next stage of your art, even if you are not in the next stage of your art, even if you are not on the next level, will make it possible once you get there to also stay there for a longer time and have the possibility to uh, develop and to, to grow with uh, in a much sustainable way because the soil you will find there is much more fertile uh, for, uh, for your own artistic process. So if you have the time, take the time to think about the needed fellowship to get out of the jungle of, of, of art right now and to um, give yourself the opportunity that once you get out of the jungle, you get to the next level, you are already accompanied or you will find there a fellowship 
that will make you stronger so you absolutely can focus on your own art on your own process and you can really work on your potentials and bring the best out of you so um, if you have the time sit today down and write about the things that if you w could wish everything you would wish for such a fellowship and just by writing this you are setting your mindset on finding this and it is so much easier in this way when the opportunity the uh, opportunity in life is opening not to miss it i already have missed many opportunities of outstanding people that came in my life but i was not prepared i not have been uh, thought this through that these people would be so good for my art i was focusing on other things about these pers uh, personalities and in this way i missed a lot so learn from my mistakes and give yourself the time and the opportunity to think about your fellowship if my ideas today were a little bit juggled uh, like I was saying right now I am developing all of these uh, ideas if you go to the website www.future.louvre.academy most likely you will find already um, a little more of the essence of these ideas that will provide you much more help than uh, just me talking to you right now because right now I am thinking out loud about what I am writing Nevertheless, I hope you like this uh, contribution of mine and I hope to see you in the next video. And now enjoy a little bit more of this fantastic uh, scenery. This river is outstanding. I will just go over there where the river is meeting the ocean and just have a good look on the artistic clash of lines and structure. It is so inspiring and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.